Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Ooh. to be just fine. Later, the hiccups will just go away on their own. Uh, uh, what exactly do you mean sooner or later? They could last a few minutes, or they could last for days. Uh, Don't worry, Clifford. No one's ever had the hiccups forever. They'll go away soon. That's right, Emily Elizabeth. Uh, A big hiccup. Yeah, he's been doing that all morning. Sheriff Lewis says that a great way to get rid of hiccups is to have someone scare them out of you. <laughs> Yikes! Hey, Clifford, it's us. Come on out, Clifford. Hi, guys. We heard about your hiccups, big guy. <laughs> Everyone has heard about them. <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> I've never had the hiccups before. Mm. Ah, the hiccups are nothing. I get them all the time. You do? Well, I had them once, when I was a puppy. At least that's what Mrs. Diller said. I don't really remember. Emily Elizabeth says they'll go away on their own. I just have to be patient. Boo! Oh, hi, T-Bone. Did I scare you, Clifford? Um, not really. Are you sure? Because Sheriff Lewis says that sometimes you can scare the hiccups away. Really? Well, maybe I was a little scared. Wow. Hey! <laughs> I guess not. But thanks for trying, T-Bone. Forget scared. 
scaring the hiccups away. I know how to get rid of them. You do? <laughs> sure. Mrs. Diller says that once you get your energy flowing the right way, you can cure anything. Hmm. What does that mean, Cleo? Hmm? I don't know. But she calls it feng shui And I've watched her do it lots of times. Does it hurt? <laughs> nope. I just have to move a few things around in your doghouse. <laughs> Okay, Cleo, let's try it. Great. You wait here, I'll go get everything ready inside. What is she doing in there? I don't know. I hope it works. Okay, Clifford, come on in. Is this gonna cure my hiccups? Yep. You see, by moving everything around, I'm making all your mystical hiccup energy move right past all this stuff. <laughs> and straight out the front door. Works every time. <laughs> well, it takes a minute to work. for trying, Cleo. But Emily Elizabeth says I won't have the hiccups forever. I just have to wait until they go away. <sighs> I wish we could help, Clifford. Ah, oh, me too. Well, I know how to make the hiccups go away, if anyone's interested. You, you do? do? <laughs> of course. How, Mac? Just come with me, Clifford. I'll take care of everything. Great. <laughs> Here we are, Clifford. This'll do the trick. Swimming is gonna get rid of its hiccups? Not swimming, drinking. Drinking? That's right. You just drink 20 big gulps of water. Well, okay. <laughs> Wait, you have to shut your eyes while you drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. You also have to hold your left ear with your right paw and your right ear with your left paw. Wow, that sounds hard. You're making this up, Mac. No, I'm not. Are you sure? I'm positive. Uh, guys, could we go on now? Oh, <laughs> sure, Clifford. Go ahead and drink the water now. Wait, wait, he can't drink pool water. <laughs> Why not? It's for swimming and splashing. You're not supposed to drink it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Mac? Oh, of course I do. Well, it doesn't seem like it to me. Boo! Whoa! I scared you that time, didn't I, Clifford? Yeah, you did kind of startle me. And <laughs> Did I scare the hiccups away? Well... I think you did! Yes! I did it! Wait a minute. 
you didn't scare his hiccups away. They went away because he did all that stuff that I told him to do. Nuh-uh. I'm the one who made his hiccups stop. What? It just took a while for that energy-moving stuff to work. <laughs> Au contraire. I am the one that brought oh, health did. back I to Clifford. No, I am the one who did it. Yes, I I Excuse me. We're sorry none of us could get rid of your hiccups, Clifford. That's okay. You all tried your best. We really wanted to help. You did help. I mean, you didn't make my hiccups go away, but it sure made me feel good that you tried so hard. Clifford! It's Emily Elizabeth! Woo! 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 There you are, Clifford. How are your hiccups, boy? Did they finally go away? I don't hear anything. Clifford, your hiccups are gone. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> It looks like your friends are really happy for you, too, Clifford. It's nice having good friends who care about you, isn't it, boy? for flying kites. Speckle, Reba, and Ravi flew their kites in the windy sky. Suddenly, Speckle was pulled right up off the ground. Off he sailed over the treetops. Then he soared past some geese who'd never seen a dog fly before. Speckle was having a very fun adventure. At last, Speckle landed safely in a soft green meadow. Now he wanted to stay on the ground and fly his kite with his friends. So Reba picked up some stones and tied them around Speckle's waist. That helped Speckle to stay on the ground with his friends so they could all fly their kites together. like fun. I brought my favorite superhero movie to watch. I brought Dog of Denmark. Oh, I love that movie. Let's watch that one first. Let's hurry to Jetta's so we'll have time to watch them all. Welcome to my party, everyone. We've got lots of seeds, popcorn and juice, and a TV set to watch our favorite videos on. Great, let's get started. I'm going to sit here. 
I'll sit here. <laughs> Whoa! I like the beanbag chair. Is everyone happy? Yup, let's watch a movie. We want to watch Dog of Denmark first, Jetta. Is that okay? We all love it. Well, I sort of thought since it's my party, I would be the first one to pick a video. Okay, what do you want to watch? The Jetta Show! What's the Jetta Show? That's what my mom calls our home movies. Home movies? Will you see my first fairy ride? Oh, look, aren't I adorable? <laughs> you look really cute, Jetta. I think I'm going to like this tape. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at the dolphins. They are so cool. Oh, don't worry, there's only a little bit of them. Then we get back to me. Don't you just love this? Yeah, love it. It's great, Jetta. Just great. Wow, look at that. That's the third Jetta Show movie they've watched, Mac. Are there any with you in them? Of course. There's one whole one called The Mac Show. I'll show it to you sometime if you want. Sure, sometime. But right now, how about if we play a game? Okay, what do you want to play? I don't know. How about tag? Mm, we play that a lot. Let's do something else. Okay, like what? Oh, woof. How about jump hose? Jump hose? I love jump hose. Do you want to go first or should I? You turn for me first, then I'll turn for you. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Okay, Clifford, here goes. Yes. Ugh, that was such an exciting spelling contest. My mom made me a special spelling bee cake and everything. Oh, watch how big my mom cuts the pieces. Isn't that great? See how daintily I'm eating it? Oh my gosh, it was such a big piece of cake, I could hardly finish it. <laughs> laughing at, Emily? Here's me taking my first ride in my dad's new car. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh What's so funny? We were just looking at the dogs. I'm gonna record it. You're supposed to be watching my movie. You missed the last part. You mean it's over? Great! Now let's watch Dog of Denmark. Not yet. We have to watch all the parts of the Jetta Show. How many parts are there? 25. <sighs> this one's my favorite. Wait a minute, Jenna. You said we were going to watch lots of different videos at this party. It's true, Jetta. You told us each to bring our favorite one. I know, but I'd rather watch mine. I don't really want to watch any movies. I think we should make a movie of our own. Yeah! Great! This is a movie-watching party, not a movie-making party. Come on, Jetta, it'll be fun. How about we vote on it? That'd be fair. Yeah, let's vote. All those who want to make a movie, raise your hand. All those who want to stay in and watch Jetta's home movies, raise your hand. It 
It's three to one. We go outside. Great. Okay. Whatever. Come on, Jetta. No, thank you, Emily Elizabeth. You're not going to play? No, I'm going to stay here and watch my home movies alone. Come on and try it. If you don't like it, we'll all come back in and watch a movie with you, okay? No, thank you. Well, okay. But if you change your mind, we'll be outside. Don't worry. I won't change my mind. Here I am with famous explorer Emily Elizabeth Howard. What are you looking for today, Emily Elizabeth? Today we are on the trail of the really hard to find big red dogosaurus. See his footprints? He is big! Come on, let's follow his trail. Wow, this is great! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Charlie! I remember that pie-eating contest was so messy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wonder what they're laughing at. Oh well, doesn't matter. <laughs> so famous explorer Emily Elizabeth. Do you think we're getting close to finding the big red dogosaurus? Oh, yes. We're very close. Could that be him? No, that's not the big red dogosaurus. <coughs> that's the small blue triceradog. <coughs> So friendly. Hi, Jetta. Are you gonna come and be in the movie now? It's really, really fun. How come you guys didn't like doing what I wanted to do? We did like it, Jetta, but then we wanted to do something else. And now we're making a fun movie. What makes this silly game so much fun anyway? It's fun because we all have something to do in it. Emily and I are the actors, and I'm the director. Even Clifford and Mac have something to do in this game. It's just more fun when everyone is part of the game instead of just one person telling everyone what to do. Was I doing that? Sort of. I'm sorry. I, I just thought everyone would love doing what I told them to do. So, do you want to be in the movie, Jetta? You could be an explorer with me. Well, okay. Only I don't want to be an explorer. I want to be the beautiful jungle princess who rescues everyone from the big red dogosaurus. <laughs> sounds good to me. That sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, only someone better tell Clifford he's supposed to be scary. Oh, Clifford! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, let's play. Clifford and I know that it's nice when friends play together and nice when they work together, too. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. Uh. 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 
What a great day. Yep, but it's time to go home now, so we better clean up. It's gonna take forever to clean this up. No, it won't. Not if we all work together to get it done. That didn't take long at all. And it was kind of fun, too. It's always nice when friends work together. It gets the job done in no time at all. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. Clifford. <laughs> you even fit inside my dollhouse. And then you started to grow. And that's when we moved here to Birdwell Island, remember? I've always loved taking care of you, no matter what size. But I'd never taken care of such a big dog before. So when we moved to Birdwell Island, I had to figure out some new ways to do things for my very special dog. Like how to brush you. There, all done. You have a perfectly groomed ear. Now all I have to do is <laughs> all the rest of you. <laughs> I remember that back then, feeding you was kind of a challenge, too. And putting you to bed at night took a long, long time. That should keep you nice and warm. <sighs> you know, Clifford, I think it's time we get you a doghouse. Okay, Emily. We emptied everything out of the garage. I hope Clifford will like using it for his doghouse. Oh, I'm sure he will, Mom. It looks like it's just the right size for him. Uh, while we take some of this stuff up to the attic, uh, why don't you show Clifford his new bed? Okay. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Anything for Clifford. Come on, Clifford. This 
will be your new house. just how large that red beast of yours is. I guess I kind of forgot how big he is, too. I thought I could use the garage for his doghouse, but it's too small. Woof, woof. Oh, Emily, dear, Mr. Bleakman and I were just on our way to the paint store. But our car broke down, so we want to ask your dad for a lift to the gas station. How about if Clifford takes you instead? I know he'd love to. Whoa! Why does your dog have to be so big? A big dog can be a big help, Mr. Bleakman. Well, I don't know about that. You see, dear, Emily was right. A big dog can be a big help. Hmm. I'm just glad we didn't have to ride on his back. Now let's see if we can find you a doghouse. Maybe my new friend Charlie has an idea, Clifford. Woof. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. You remember Emily and her dog Clifford, don't you, Dad? <laughs> Once you've met Clifford, he's hard to forget. Woof. Doing this afternoon, Emily Elizabeth. We're looking for a doghouse. <laughs> That's going to have to be a pretty big doghouse. I know. Do you have any ideas where we could find one? Well. Charlie! The silly old cat got itself stuck in our tree again. Oh no! The last time that cat got stuck, we had to call the fire department to get it down. Boof. Come on. Come on down now, please. Well, thank you, Clifford. <laughs> You're a big help. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your help, Clifford. Now, is there anything I can do for you? Well, we are looking for a doghouse for Clifford. Do you have any ideas where we could get one? Hmm. You know, there is this old boathouse near the park. I know they're planning to tear it down, but maybe Clifford could use it, huh? Thanks, Samuel. I'll go see. Come on, Clifford. Woof, woof. Oh, no, Clifford. Look. It's the old boathouse. Or it was the old boathouse. Now it's just a wreck. Your boy. Woof, woof. Come on, Clifford. Let's keep looking for that doghouse. We looked everywhere for a doghouse for you, Clifford. Woof. It was really kind of fun looking all over town, remember? Woof.
to get you a doghouse. What's going on? Good morning, Emily Elizabeth. I wonder if you'd hold this for me. Uh, okay. a doghouse. Clifford has helped all of us plenty of times. We wanted to do something nice for him this time. And I thought maybe you could use this rig to groom Clifford. That's a great idea. Oh, here's some dog food for Clifford, Emily Elizabeth. We asked a pet food company on the mainland to make Clifford-sized bags. We're gonna bring them in on the ferry every day. Oh, thank you. And look at that, Emily. A Clifford-sized water dish! <gasps> Mom! Look at Mr. Bleakman! Clifford, this is the best doghouse in the world! I'll never forget that day when everyone helped build your special doghouse, Clifford. A special doghouse for my special big red dog. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Cloudy Day. One day, Speckle and his friends just couldn't think of anything to do. So they lay in the grass, doing nothing much at all. Then Speckle noticed a cloud that looked just like an apple tree. Rabby thought it looked more like an elephant jumping rope. saw a seal balancing a beach ball on his nose. And Darnell saw a monkey riding a bicycle. All afternoon, the friends watched the sky. They saw a trumpet playing ostrich, a rhinoceros doing ballet. They even saw an ice cream cone with a mustache and a beard. Soon, they had laughed the whole day away. And when they said goodbye, they all agreed that they had one of the most fun days ever. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Clifford? 
Or someone eats all the cookies. Perfect. Now that's a picnic. Oops, almost forgot. I better bring some for Mac, too. That should do it. Jenny in the fifth grade? Yeah, I know Jenny. Well, Jenny Wincole invited me to go to Whoopi World with her. Wow, Jetta, that's great. I know, I can't wait. When are you going? Well, you see, that's the thing. She wants me to go today. Today? But we're going to Silk Cove today. I made a picnic and everything. Woof! I know, but how often do I get a chance to go to Whoopi World with Jenny Winkle? Not very often, I guess. I knew you'd understand, Emily Elizabeth. It's just too good to pass up. Yeah, I guess. We can go to Seal Cove another time, okay? I gotta get home and wait for Jenny. Bye-bye! Bye, Jenna. Well, you and I can still go to Seal Cove, Clifford. We'll have plenty to eat, anyway. <laughs> I can't wait for Jenny to get here. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> Are you mad at me, Mac? I know I promised to take you to Seal Cove today. We can go some other time, okay, boy? <laughs> I bet a nice tummy yummy would make you feel better. <gasps> Come and get it. <laughs> That's my good boy. Fine, just be mad at me then. I'm gonna have fun at Whoopi World no matter what. Charlie was right! They really are cute, aren't they, Clifford? <laughs> They've never seen anything like 
like you before, Clifford. with us. Where is she? Jetta! Jenny Wincole just called. <gasps> is she gonna be here soon? Oh, I'm afraid Jenny's not coming after all, dear. What? Not coming? Well, it seems that one of her fifth grade friends called at the last minute and said she could go. But that's not fair! She said she was going with me. I've been looking forward to it all day. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. You can't tell someone you're going to do something with them and then not do it. She promised. I know you're disappointed, Jada. I sure am. It's not fair. I know. It's not very nice. When you say you're going to do something with someone, you shouldn't change your mind. Right. I just can't believe Jenny did this to me. Mm. It doesn't feel very good when you make plans with someone and they back out to do something else, does it? Oh, you mean the way I did with Emily Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. Wow. <sighs> I guess maybe I have some apologizing to do, Mac. We're gonna have a lot of leftovers from our picnic today, Clifford. <laughs> Emily! We're here, Emily Elizabeth! <laughs> Jenna! What happened to Whoopi World? Oh, that. Well, I really didn't want to go. Actually, Jenny really didn't want to go with me. Sorry? No, I'm the one who's sorry. I promised to do something with you today. It wasn't right for me to change plans like that. It did kind of hurt my feelings. And I was going to have a lot of leftovers. <laughs> Don't worry about that. All that waiting for Jenny made me really hungry. Great, let's eat. And then after lunch, we can go see the seals. Then play with my squiggle stick. Hey! <laughs> Ready to play with the squiggle stick now. <laughs> well, I didn't really want the dogs to play with it. Oh, okay. I guess I owe it to you for disappointing you this morning, Mac. Go get it, boys! <laughs> <laughs> It looks like they both got it. Ew! Double dog drool! <laughs> oh, thanks, Clifford. <laughs>
everyone. Let's play ball. Yeah, okay. Clifford and I know that sometimes when we're asked to do something important, our friends count on us to follow through. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Hey, where's the ball? Max said he would bring it today. If that's what Max said, then I'm sure that's what he'll do. Look, there's Mac now. Hey, Mac, did you bring the ball? Oh, I don't feel like playing ball. I'm going to the beach. Gee, Mac, we were all counting on you to bring the ball. Uh-huh. Then I guess I better go get it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right! Responsible means others can trust you to do what you promised to do. It feels good to know that you can be counted on. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Yeah, but we might have to wait a while before it comes down. Oh, Caroline, I really appreciate your family keeping Cleo while I get the house painted. I'm sure Clifford will love having her stay with us for the next few days. I think Cleo is really excited about it, too. Hey, guys, guess what? What, Cleo? Come on, guess! Right now, we're waiting for Clifford's stick to come down. You got a new bow. Yeah, I did. But that's not it. You guess, Clifford. Uh. You smell like flowers today. I do? Uh, yeah, I do. Here it comes, Clifford. <laughs> got it. Good catch. Way to go, Clifford. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Tell us what, Cleo? Well, guess who gets to spend three whole days and two whole nights right here with Clifford? You? Yeah, me! Isn't it great? Clifford and I will be together for three whole days, morning, noon, and night. That's great, Cleo. Yeah! Come on, you guys can help me bring my stuff into Clifford's doghouse. Sure, no problem. Follow me, my stuff is just around the corner. Okay, Clifford, bring her in. Okay, stop. Wow, 
Well, that's a lot of stuff. I'm not sure I have room for all this in my doghouse, Cleo. Sure you do. We could put some of your stuff in a corner or something. Oh, well, okay. I'd like to stay and help you guys unpack, but I have to go. Sheriff Lewis is taking me to Dr. Dan for a checkup today. Well, I have to go too, Cleo. It's time to pick up Emily Elizabeth from school. It's our special time together. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's go get Emily. I don't remember you asking Cleo to go along with you. It's okay, she's my friend. Come on, Emily's waiting. Ooh, it's almost time, Cleo. The bell is gonna ring any minute now. This is fun. Maybe I should do this with you every day. Uh, no, that's okay, Cleo. Here they come! It's good to see you too, Clifford. Oh, look! Clifford brought Cleo with him today. Oh, isn't she cute? She's so adorable. That was really nice of you to bring her along today, Clifford. Hi, Cleo! Hello, you sweet little girl. Shh. It's quiet time now. Quiet time? What for? Emily Elizabeth's doing her homework. If we're really quiet, she can finish her homework and have time to play before dinner. Oh, okay. It took her a long time to finish her homework because we were so loud. Your bed is nice, Clifford. Maybe I'll sleep in here with you tonight. Uh, I take up a lot of room. <laughs> Heck, this bed is plenty big. <laughs> Come on, lay down. Okay. <sighs> ah, there now. Isn't that cozy? Yeah, it's great. story tonight, Cleo. <laughs> Let's see. Do you guys want me to read a story about a dog? <laughs> or a story about a farm? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cleo. Clifford loves the one about the dog, but since you're the guest, we'll read about the farm. <laughs> <sighs> Cleo. 
Cleo, you want to wake up and take Emily Elizabeth to school with me this morning? some time for just the two of us, too. you were staying for three days. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Well, what do you mean? Clifford snuck off with Emily this morning without me. Gee, Cleo, maybe you just wanted some time alone with Emily Elizabeth. You think so? Yeah, Clifford really needs his time with her. Hey guys, what's going on? Don't worry, Clifford. T-Bone explained everything and I forgive you. Huh? Cleo saw you and Emily Elizabeth leave this morning without her. And I thought that meant you wanted me to leave. Oh, no, I don't want you to leave, Cleo. I know. Can you believe I was being so silly? Come on, you guys can bring all my stuff back in now. Oh, and Clifford, could you take down a couple of those pictures of Emily? I want to put up some of these pictures of me as a puppy. What are you waiting for? What is wrong, Clifford? You know, Cleo, I do really like having you stay with me. Thanks. I like staying here. And I want you to have everything you need and want while you're here, so you'll be happy. But sometimes, I wish you would think about what I might need. Oh. You mean, like, time alone with Emily? Uh-huh. And room to sleep in your bed? Definitely. And me to be quiet when you ask me to be quiet? That would be great. Oh, boy. I haven't been a very good friend at all. I just came into your doghouse and took over. I didn't even think about you. I am really sorry, Clifford. Thanks, Cleo. If I promise to try and be a better friend, can I stay a few more days? Of course. You can stay for a week if you want to, Cleo. Thanks! But I can't stay that long. I only pack for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the New Ball. One day, Reba was showing Speckle her new red ball. She bounced the ball so high, it almost touched the clouds. That is a great ball, said Speckle. It sure is, agreed Reba. In fact, I'll bet Ravi would like to play with it, too. And she walked away, taking her new ball with her. I thought she wanted to play with me, he sighed. He was even a little sad. But Reba can play with whoever she wants, Speckle thought. And he went back to his sandbox. He began building a sandcastle when Reba's new ball suddenly landed at his feet. Speckle looked up and saw Reba and Ravi. Are you ready to play ball, asked Reba. Speckle realized that all along, Reba had wanted to play with Ravi and him. Okay, he yelled back, and the three of them laughed and played and had a wonderful day. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Mr. 
special day. Making all that racket over there. Ah! Clifford. I should have known. Woo, 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 woo. Woo. I'm never gonna get all my chores done today with all that racket going on. over by Mr. Bleakman's foot, Cleo. Well, bark at him and get it back. Okay. Oh, hello, Clifford. I want you to keep the noise down today, Clifford. I have lots of chores to do. I'm digging a new flower bed, cleaning out my pond, and washing my car. Whoa, whoa. And I just can't work with all this barking and ball playing going on. So please, keep it down. Cleo, I don't think he's going to give it back today. What? But it's my ball! Gosh, that seems really unfair, even for Mr. Bleakman. I know. I think he's extra grouchy today because he has all that work to do, and we were making lots of noise. Well, I'm just going to march right over there and bark and bark. Cleo, Sheriff Lewis always says that when people are being grouchy, the best thing to do is just be nice to them. What good would that do? He says we can never be sure why someone is grumpy, or even if treating them nicely will make them feel better. But most of the time, it does make us feel better. Wow, I never thought of it before, but I bet that's true. So you think if we're nice to Mr. Bleakman, he might feel better and give me back my ball? Maybe. But what could we do to be nice to Mr. Bleakman? Well, he has all those chores to do today. What if we did them for him? Hey, that's a great idea, Cleo. It's worth a try. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Mr. Bleakman is inside having lunch. Cleo, you and I will dig his flower bed. Right. Tebow, you watch and let us know when Mr. Bleakman comes out. Okay. If I see him, I'll give a big whistle. <laughs> and maybe you should just bark. I like to whistle. <laughs> okay. We'll keep our ears open. To make a flower bed, you have to dig all of the dirt out of the ground. That should do it. Then you have to put all of the dirt back into the ground. I don't know why, but that's the way Mrs. Diller does it. Gotta watch for Mr. Bleakman. Got a whistle if, if I see him. I'm, I'm 
I'm awake. I'm up. Uh, I'm okay. Okay, Violet. Here I go. Oh, no. Mr. Blakeman. <laughs> Time to get that flower bed going. Let's see now. Where did I put my shovel? We did a great job, Cleo. I bet Mr. Bleakman will be so happy he'll give me my ball back. <laughs> What's he doing? I think he's trying to whistle. Well, if he's whistling, then Mr. Blakeman must be coming. We'd better get out of here. This digging part. Huh? Well, would you look at that? Someone already dug my flower bed. What a wonderful surprise! Wow, look at how happy we made him. He's really smiling. Yeah, if we keep this up, he'll give me back my ball in no time. Uh, of course, now I have to go clean out that dirty old pond. Cleaning his pond is gonna make Mr. Bleakman really happy. Yeah, but we have to work fast. He just went to borrow some equipment. Don't worry, I'll let you know when he's back. And this time, I'll bark when I see him. Good idea. A great whistler. <laughs> Whoa, that was Mr. Blakeman. <laughs> Do you hear that, Clifford? <laughs> Mr. Blakeman must be coming. Put the water back, Clifford. <laughs> Good job, Clifford. Now let's get out of here. Now someone has cleaned my pond! Someone cleaned my pond! <laughs> he really looks happy, huh? Yeah, I'm really starting to like the secret good deed stuff. Me too. It doesn't even matter if I get my ball back. It just feels good making someone else feel good. <laughs> someone cleaned my pond! <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Whoa, Mr. Bleakman's car is gonna shine when we're done cleaning it. There, now let's dry it. It's looking good. Wow, this is amazing. You like it, T-Bone? Yeah, I've never seen a fuzzy car before. Huh? Oh no, this isn't good. Oh my goodness! What happened to that car? Are you trying to wash this car for Mr. Bleakman, Clifford? Woof. That's very nice of you, but why don't you let me help you, okay? I tell you, Violet, someone's been doing all my work for me today. Are you sure it wasn't you? Oh, it wasn't me. Well, whoever it was, they've sure made my day. It's so nice to see you smiling again, Horace. You were a little cranky this morning, you know. I know. <laughs> but I was just having a bad day. I sure feel good now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You really are feeling good. You guys did a nice thing today. You made Mr. Bleakman really happy. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Bleakman. I believe this ball belongs on this side of the fence. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the 
your ball over, Mr. Bleakman. It was my pleasure. Have a wonderful day, Emily Elizabeth. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> hey, this is fun. About the feelings of others. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be kind. Uh-oh. It looks like Max's special birthday balloon popped. I told him it'd get ruined if he didn't take it inside. I'm gonna go show him. Wait a minute, Cleo. Maybe we can find a nicer way to tell him about it so he won't feel so bad. You're right, Clifford. Hi, Mac. We're really sorry, but your balloon got ruined in the sun. My special balloon! Oh. We all make mistakes sometimes, even me. <laughs> thanks, Cleo. And thanks for not saying I told you so. You're welcome. Hey, you want to play tag? Sure. Helping a friend to feel better makes you feel better, too. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be kind. 